Hello guys, Absolute Dawn's here coming at you with another One Piece video, and in today's One Piece video we have for you my round one from my Europa Store Championship Tournament. Now, this is going to be Katakuri versus my Trafalgar Lore deck. I have just recently been revamping this for well, OPO4, thinking there's a lot of different cards that I could play to make that deck a lot better. So I chose to take it to my first store championship. And the first game is going to be against Katakuri, as you can tell. And we're going to see how we're going to be able to do because my opponent is mulliganing and we chose to keep our hand. And for those guys who don't know what a store championship is, well, pretty much it's an event that stores all around um, One Piece can go ahead and host with a winner card up for grabs. This one has a winner kit up for grabs and hopefully we're going to end up winning it at the end of these games so let's go ahead and see what happens it looks like he's got his hand now let's see how the game's gonna go so he's gonna start with a pudding play I think I won the dice roll and forced him to go first he was even choking with me saying that no I just want to go first I like going first my builds going first build so we're gonna see how this turns out for him so we're gonna start off playing our Dadan looking at the top five adding a Nami to hand looks like I had a bit of glare on my side guys I do apologize for that didn't realize it at the time but let's go ahead and see where we he, the Katakuri player is going to go from here. Is he going to go ahead and play a free drop Perispera? He's going to swing Katakuri. He's going to swing with the Katakuri. I'm going to take the life. And he's going to play a Brulee. Interesting choice. Not playing Perispero. Maybe he just doesn't have it. But we're going to go ahead and swing five into life with Trafalgar Law. He counters with the Blocker Sanji. I'm going to rest two to play another Dadan, looking at the top five cards. Adding another Nami, double Nami and double Dadan. That's pretty good. So we go ahead and add a Jet Pistol. This is actually a new tech that I'm playing in Trafalgar Law. Obviously, it was played in OPO 1, but it was kind of cut into OPO 2, or sorry, 3, because it didn't really do enough. But I chose to put it back in, and I think it's doing wonders right now. It's just a very good card. Great removal for blockers, big characters with the Otama. I think it's really, really strong. But the category player goes ahead and swings to five we took it and he plays a randall and then we're going to go ahead and draw for turn so we're on our sixth on turn now because we went second so this is probably where we're going to go ahead and shambles deal some damage here like let's see what's going to happen because what i would probably end up doing is one of these dadans are going to swing at life is what i would probably do off the top of my head but he's going to go ahead and swing five and then he's going to block with the brulee there and we're just going to see what the options are. So I'm going to rest one from the looks of it. Oh, we rest one. Yeah, we rest one to play a Bonnie. Then we rest the Bonnie to look at the top five. Adding to hand. What will we get? What are we going to grab here? We grab another Bonnie. Okay, looks like we didn't see the five drop law there. A little unfortunate. But we're going to go ahead and put two onto the down swing for five. He does go ahead and take it with no trigger. Then we're shamblesing out into the Trafalgar Law, adding back the Bonnie, and then we're gonna play something with the Trafalgar Law as well. What are we gonna play? And I'm, oh, those beautiful new laws as well. And it looks like I played a 3v3 chopper there, guys. Yeah, I've just been blinging out my lore deck recently, guys. I love all the cards in lore. I can't wait for the Dan to get its foil and everything. It's gonna be so nice. So what's the category player gonna do here? He's on his eight Don turn. He's going to go ahead and pudding, looking at the top four cards, potentially adding, I don't know, a pair of Sparrow, the six cost to hand. No, he does add a free cost pair of Sparrow, though. Okay, interesting. So we're going to see what he's going to play. He's probably going to play the free drop pair of Sparrow, along with maybe another free cost, or he's going to swing big with the Katakuri, probably. Like, that Randolph is definitely going to swing into life. Uh, we go ahead and block and 2k counter. And then, what's the Katakuri going to do? He's going to put two onto the Katakuri, look at top life, swing into the law. I just block with the chopper. No reason to take that hit whatsoever, guys. Just pointless. And then he goes ahead and plays a blocker law, uh, sorry, a blocker Sanji and passes turn. So on our turn now, we draw for turn. What are our options here? We can do a lot of swings here, but we're going to start off with the Bonnie, resting it to Don to go ahead and search. And we get another blocker law. Beautiful card. Yep. I've now got a playset of the special one as well, guys. I know I'm bragging a bit, but... I really do love Trafalgar Law. It's just my favorite card. So, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to swing five at life. Okie dokie. And making him think. What's he going to do? Uh, so, he 2k countered that from the looks of it. And we've got a lot of Don to work with. So, we've got six Don here. We could do a lot of different things. We could, we could go ahead and swing with the dam. We could do a swing with the blocker law. We could swing with potentially like the Nami's as well if we really wanted but we're gonna go ahead and swing six into life with the blocker law all right he goes ahead and blocks with the Sanji 
Then we're going to rest two to go ahead and shambles out into the lore, returning the Bonnie and the Nami. Going ahead and playing an Otama to decrease the Randolph. And we go ahead and use that jet pistol to kill the Randolph there. Not bad, not bad. So he's on his nine Don turn now. He's got six Don to play with. Well, sorry. Nine Don, and he played, ooh, he played a nine cost Yamato and killed my block of lore. Okay, not good for me, but we're going to go ahead and counter as Katakuri Swing. But damn, he's playing the 9 cost Yamato. This is actually a tech I've been seeing some Katakuri players playing. I personally am not too sure on the card. I think it's a great card when you're on one life, but at the same time, it can only kill low costing characters when it's like that. But we're going to go ahead and play the Bonnie here. Bonnie's going to look at top 5 again. We're going to add something from these 5. It look, I saw a Zoro and a Bonnie, I believe. So we're probably going to add the Zoro, I would think. Um... But yeah, let's see what we're going to grab. What's the best card to add? So it looks like I'm just calculating Don right now, thinking what's the best play? What's the best card? It looks like I'm very heavy on that Zoro. And we do choose to take the Zoro. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with the Zoro? Like, we've got a couple of swings. So we're going to swing seven into life? Yeah, seven into life. Okay. What's he going to do? Do. Is he going to counter out? Is he going to take? He does choose to take. Then we swing five as well at life. He goes ahead and 1k counters that. We rest two to shambles out the law. Playing a rush Zoro and then swinging into life again. Okay, he goes ahead and 1k counters that. Then we rest five from the looks of it. Potentially playing the blocker law again. No, we're just going to do a 7k swing into life. And oh, he, he hit the Thunderbolt, and then we get to play the Blocker Chopper anyway. Okay, so that's um that was a pretty good turn from us. We did sadly get hit by the Thunderbolt, which killed our Law, which is a little unfortunate, but he's going to go ahead and swing 5 into the Dedan, and we, he's going to swing 9 into life, but we're going to block with the Chopper, and then he plays the 10-drop Big Mum. Okay, this has put us in a little bit of a sticky situation. He's got two very big characters on the board, free life. Can we push through this? Like, that's going to be the thing. How do we get through this life? How do we get to the point where we can win? Like, we also need to deal with, like, the Yamato as well. We're going to play the Nami, though, looking at the top five. Grabbing a Blocker Chopper. We need those blockers to protect ourselves, so that's important. Okay. And it looks like I'm just looking at my trash, looking at my hand, thinking what's the best card to play here. It looks like I've got a couple of Bonnies in hand as well, so we've got potential plays there. So we go ahead and play the Bonnie, and we're going to look at the top life. Hopefully hitting that block of lore. But we... No, we do hit a Zoro, though. Zoro is still pretty good here. Okay. So, what would be the best play from here? It looks like I'm just fully debating. But we're going to go ahead and swing two into the pudding. Dealing with that. Taking away one of his potential swings as well, which is also very good. Okay. We're going to swing five into life. Not bad. Five into life is going to make him either waste a card in hand or take a life. It would be nice if he takes a life, but also wasting a card isn't terrible. Like, he does go ahead and drop the 1k counter. Like, that's, that's one of the good things, like, Law has against Katakuri. We do a lot of 5k swings just to waste his hand. Like, it's either 5 or 7. It's never in between. So, that's always going to be a good thing about this deck. We just waste a load of hand. So, let's go ahead and see where this is going to go from here. Looks like I'm going to rest 4 Don, I think that was. To, no, 3 Don to play the Zoro. Another 5k swing into life. He's going to go ahead and take this one. Resting 2-2 two, two Shambles, the Otama. Playing the Law, very good. And then replaying the Zoro. Probably going for a 7, no, a 6k swing. Okay, so if he has a 2k counter, he just drops this now. Alright. So will he just drop a 2k counter? Like, if he has it, he has it. He does have the 2k counter. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of the Nami to play the Blocker Chopper there. So we go ahead and have the Chopper now. we got the Chopper. we got the Bonnie. we got a Law. Like, we've got good protection for our one life. But he's still on two life, I believe. So we're going to have to somehow push through that. But he hasn't got a lot of cards in hand. So it shouldn't be too hard. So let's see how this is going to go. Like, honestly, this game could be a very, very close one, in my opinion, right now. Like, we've got a lot of options. Like, he's got the 9-cost Yamato. He's got the 10-cost Big Mom. He's got big swings with that Katakuri. Like, if he kills the Zoro, that also puts us in a bit of a sticky situation. 
Like, we're gonna have to see where this is going to go. Like, what's the play? Okay, so he's looking at his Don, he's thinking what the correct management is, where he's gonna go with it. Like, that that's one of the things as well, guys. When you're in the late game, where it could potentially go into like, oh, either I kill you now or I die, you gotta be very careful, because if you get one Don placement wrong, that could just cost you the game. So, he's being very careful right now, thinking what the correct management is, but he's gonna pay free from the looks of it, playing a uh, Adamande, which will go ahead and then drop a trigger card to, well, <laughs> just kill the chopper, rest it and kill it with that pudding. Um, interesting choice there. He could have had an extra swing with the pudding, but he chose not to. But let's see what he's gonna do. He's got seven Don left. Like, he's got decent Don management here as well. Like, he could go ahead and do a 12 swing for free with that Big Mum. We could go ahead and just get a free bit of advantage with that Yamato. Like, he has a lot going for him right now. Okay, so he's gonna go 11 into life. Looking at how many Don he has left, he has five Don. Okay, so we take it. It looks like it got Zoro off life. So how many Don is he gonna put on his leader now? Or is he just gonna swing with the big mom? What's he what's what's the play here? What's his strategy? So hmm. Like, it, it, it does take a minute to think. Like, you gotta think what the correct Don management, the Don placement is, because right now, he could potentially just kill me. Like, I have one blocker. If I don't have enough counter cards in hand, he just wins. And I think he put three Don onto the Katakuri. Yeah, he's got two Don left up, so he put three there, 2k counter, 1k, and then two, well, four cards to not die. Then he swings 14, which we block with the law. And then he passes turn. Okay, so now we're going to have to see if we can get through this life hit. Will we be able to power through his board? Will we get through to the life? Will we be able to take this game, guys? Okay, so where is this going? Like, if he has one blocker, that could be a serious problem. If he has a good 2k counters in hand, like, this could be a problem. We've just got to be careful, right? So we're going to swing five into life. He chooses to take it, and he gets a Thunderbolt, killing my Zoro. Okay, that's a bit of a tough situation now, because because we lose that Zoro, it means that we are in a very well, a very tight spot. Because if we need to keep that Zoro, probably, but we're gonna play another Zoro, put two Don on it, swing into life. Okay, so not bad. He takes it. Then we're gonna rest, from the looks of it, we're gonna probably put all the Don onto the Nami and then do another 7k swing. Like, or we could play something else, I guess, to try and get there. No, we're gonna play the Restand Law, Restand the Zora, and does he have enough counter to survive it? He has two 1Ks, and that is game, guys. So, that was a very close one at the end there. Like, maybe if he changed his Don management, it could have been a different game. But honestly, guys, that was a pretty fun game one. Katakuri is a pretty strong matchup, but I think Law has the upper hand because the 5K swings, being able to burn out their hand, and just being able to continuously recycle our resources is very, very good. But don't get me wrong, Katakuri is also really insane, having all the triggers under the sun, having 10 drop Big Mom, now 9 drop. Yamato, which is also a very interesting tech that I'm seeing people play now. Like, the deck has a lot, and I think it's very, very strong. But guys, I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Absolute Doors, signing out. Later all.